Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Extreme Makeover by Dan Wells. His newest book just released this past November. I actually finished this at the end of 2016 and I'm just now getting around to posting this. This is the satirical, somewhat horrific story of a health and beauty company that unleashes unto the world, wait for it, dun dun dun, the most incredible hand lotion, a very special hand lotion. We follow Lyle Fontenelle, chief scientist of the company New You. He's developed this new lotion from a burn cream originally into an anti-aging hand lotion that can apparently affect the way our DNA works. Both the world and the heads of New You are at first enamored with this lotion. They believe, quite rightly, that it will change cosmetics forever, and perhaps even life as we know it, or people as they know themselves. While it's supposed to induce extra collagen production to reverse wrinkles, it does much more than that. And though at first it seems wonderful, has adverse effects for some that seem more than unwelcome. We see Lyle grapple with this issue with the company he works for, with the people who are vehemently against it, and with himself on the morality, the ethics, and the long-term social, psychological, and political effects of what he's accidentally introduced to the world. While there are many setbacks, many, many setbacks, he's still confident in his initial goal and intention with this product, despite the whole world of chaos it's unleashed. This was quite a fun and fairly humorous read. The concepts introduced are borderline ridiculous, awesome, and somehow insanely plausible. The focus of this at first is an attempt to explain how a burn cream slash anti-aging cream like this could work, be developed, and how the heads of such a sincere, honest, upright company like New You could possibly sell it and market it to the world. They all aim to be billionaires, and if things go their way, they absolutely will be. But there's other companies, spies for those other companies, the world at large, either for or against what New You has announced, and then of course the aftermath of it not quite going right. It's a big build-up right at the beginning, seeing all this stuff and all these people that Lao works with getting themselves all excited about the launch and release of their new product. We follow along with that and get hyped with them, but sort of cringe as the announcement and release get closer and closer. Dan Wells really hints to us, the readers, what's going to happen and what's going wrong, right before the characters realize it for themselves, right before it's too late. What happens in this is almost entirely focused on the social and ethical implications of putting this out in the world. The science of this lotion is a bit iffy. It's mostly just explained and expanded on. I, I felt like to give us the sense that they have no idea what went wrong, that this one batch Lyle made has somehow affected every other batch made, and he, he's got to figure out how it actually works. The specifics of how it works is not necessarily meant to be entirely realistic, even if it's, it's explained in a realistic way, but to set up the rest of the story and all of the absolutely crazy things that transpire page after page. It's really so much fun to see how this affects the world and the people who come in contact with it, and that's the point. Everything changes for the worse, but it really feels like all of this could happen if such a lotion was introduced. It's entirely bizarre, somewhat terrifying, and overall a madhouse of entertainment for the reader. What really stands out is the morality of each character. Uh, Lyle is not necessarily a bad person, but he's not a good person either. He's fairly selfish and self-satisfying, but vaguely wants to do something good for the world. He's got to get paid for doing so, of course, and he quite, can't quite get himself to leave New You, but his intentions are all right, if not questionable. Those surrounding him are equally ambiguous in their morality. Many are straight up awful, and some just don't care, but overall they're just a part of this company that made this thing in order to make money for everyone involved. They've got a little bit more to them than that, but you've got to look really hard sometimes. Lyle himself is especially interesting to see in this progression, considering all of the things that are thrown at him throughout this book. I did, like I said, enjoy this and had a blast reading it. It's not perfect, but I feel like Dan Wells' grasp on the issues that arise from this is strong, that he tackled it all well and thought of some pretty great ideas for this. The ending isn't especially cheerful or happy, but is satisfying and, and fits, which I appreciated. Uh, this was the first thing I had read by Dan Wells at the time, but since finishing it, I have read his entire Partials trilogy, which I also liked. I think he writes good characters, uh, packs in a lot of ideas, and just kind of likes making everything go nuts until the final climax and resolution. I really think that a lot of people would like this, uh, would find it darkly funny, as I did, and would enjoy his writing. 
give it a shot if you're if you're looking for a different kind of apocalypse book. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would absolutely love to hear any thoughts you have on this book or any other Dan Wells books that you've read. This one was sent to me by Tor to review, and I highly appreciate that. Let me know if you're interested in reading it. And uh, thank you guys, and I will see you later with more.